Three children have drowned in our area in just the last week. The latest victims, two cousins in a backyard pool. WDRB's Dalton Godby spoke to some experts about how to be safe around the water. Well, this time of year is always a good time to think about aquatic safety. Pools, lakes, rivers, beaches, they are all packed with people trying to cool off in the water. And sometimes the discussion about safety is too late. There's no such thing as a drown proof person. It was too late for three children who drowned in our area. LMPD says two young cousins drowned Sunday at a home on Rolling Ridge Road. A two year old Xander Lee was swimming in the pool at his home when he drowned last Wednesday. Following these tragedies, experts are encouraging heightened attention around water. You never recommend swimming alone under any circumstances and regardless of your skill level. The YMCA offers swim classes for most skill levels in the pool. They say the knowledge these lessons give can prevent tragedy. Learning to swim, becoming as, as comfortable as possible in the water is the best remedy. Well, what's important about any water safety is education. The answer is similar from those working water recoveries. These first responders also encourage barriers around swimming pools or other bodies of water. If you have locked gates, make sure they're secured. Supervision of your children around pools and make sure you're prepared for anything that comes along with that. Deputy Chief Sean Carter says Highview Fire hasn't responded to many calls around water this year. Two kayakers at Broad Run Park Monday lost control on Floyd's Fork. They needed help stopping. A safe exit from the water with no injuries, all because of a quick call and quick response. You need to call a professional, you know, dial 911. Uh, we have trained professionals that are on swift water teams, dive rescue teams that are going to get in and get victims out if they need to. Dalton Godby. WDRB News.